Oxygen has been used for, for almost a century. The first scientific article was published in Angina around 1900. And uh, the recommendation it was very strong, a class one recommendation based on expert opinion. When we started the trial, basically all patients should receive oxygen. Then during the course of the trial, it was changed to uh, a, limit, a lower limit of 95%, also just based on expert opinion. Uh, and when, when you looked at the rationale behind this, scientifically you realized that, that there is no rationale. It's, uh, and it has to be shown with good data that, that oxygen is needed. And this was the basis of our trial, basically. It was a registry-based randomized clinical trial based on the Swede Heart Registry, which is a national comprehensive quality of care registry in coronary care covering all the hospitals with CCU capacity in Sweden, including uh, more than 90% of all myocardial infarctions in Sweden. So basically we, we did a normal randomization and then we used uh, national registries for, for all follow-up, in inclusive the national population registry, which virtually is complete. It's more 6,629 6, patients in, in less than three years. And, um, you know, in Sweden, every death is registered. And, uh, and the registry is also linked to, you know, to the tax authorities, to, to, to many other registries. So it's actually, within a month, it's only half a percent that is not registered as, as being dead. And so we, we achieved complete follow-up for all of the patients. The main finding was that there is no benefit in giving oxygen to patients with suspected myocardial infarctions who are not hypoxemic at baseline. The mortality was basically identical, it was around 5% in both groups, so it's not necessary to give it. You know, as I said in the beginning, uh, guidelines have already gradually shifted towards a more restrictive use of oxygen, but not based on, on clinical, uh, on scientific fact, more clinical and evidence. And now we can give good data to support an even more restrictive use. And I, I think, in a, or actually, the guidelines have already changed to, to basically use our limits, which was above 90%. Uh, at baseline you don't have to give oxygen anymore and you can use the time you save and the money for better things that have better evidence.